10 Worst Places to Live in the UK Please tell someone living in a less developed part of the world that some places are bad to live in the United Kingdom and you'll be the worst liar, the very father of lie to the poverty-stricken individual. Because London, Manchester, Milton Keynes, Edinburgh, and Cardiff are all synonymous with luxury to such people. Little did they know that there are very bad places to live in the UK. As we reveal those bad places to live in the United Kingdom, the result may be surprising, even to you. If you're still looking for somewhere to live in the UK, consider the following as the 10 worst places to live in the UK and steer clear of them. Number 10. South Teesside Teesside is a very bad place to live in the United Kingdom. It ranked 129 out of 138 areas as it has serious problems with the unemployment rate. Only 64% of people in South Teesside are working. The work-life balance as they have to work for 45 hours a week on average. This affects the quality of life negatively. While the weekly income may at first appear reasonable, the actual disposable income is a mere £14,427 per year. When analyzing South Teesside, don't get carried away by the house prices relatively lower than the national average. Remember the employment situation and compare other places with similar job situations. You'll see that the rent is quite high. The same you should consider when the low living cost of £48.60 per week since energy and insurance is low. Only 89% of South Teesside has cell phone signal coverage, which is poor. Number 9. East of Northern Ireland East of Northern Ireland has been faring badly in recent rankings of quality of life. Thus, it comfortably sits at the ninth worst place to live in the UK. It hasn't come out of the bad unemployment situation for years. Only 69% of people in this country are unemployed. About 23% of those employed are working more than 45 hours a week. This is an indication of a terrible work-life balance. The typical gross income in this region is a meager £416.60, and when all factors of costs are summed up, families are left with £15,000 the whole year. Though buying a home is easier, rent is still quite high at £82.74 per week. Only 72% of the region has cell phone signal, and the average broadband speed is just 20.3 megabytes per second. This is not the kind of place you'll love to live in the UK. Number 8. Central Valleys Central Valleys can't escape the scourge of unemployment, as only 68% of its people are employed. So the average income in this region is £438.75, at just £14,126 per year, a rate too low by UK standards. You'll be surprised that despite the low cost of buying a home, the rent gulps a whopping average of £72.59 per week. This Welsh Valley region of the UK is marked by high mortality rates and a small gap between life expectancies for both genders. Only 79% of people living in this region have access to mobile network services. Imagine living in a region with broadband speeds of just 12.1 megabytes per second on average. It should be considered a bad place to live in the UK. Number 7. Devon Let's go and explore Devon, one of the most beautiful countrysides in southwestern England along coastlines in the UK. But wait, since 2013, the quality of life in Devon has plummeted. While 77% of the people are working, as much as 35% of the working class must spend between 35 to 45 hours per week on the job. Therefore, finding stable and enjoyable jobs is harder, as the employment stat indicates. The gross weekly Devonian income of £440.51 is quite low, though the disposable income of £17,434 may be covetable. But before making the move, consider the average house cost of £208,493.75 and the high rent of £77.94 lack of full-time work and despite low earnings. You may be unlucky to be among the 30% who don't have access to cell phone signal. And if you're among the 70% that have, you're not expected to get more than 15.3 megabytes per second. Number 6. Blackpool The sixth of the worst places to live in the UK is Blackpool. Poverty is a major challenge here, as the weekly Blackpool income is among the lowest in the United Kingdom. A typical household is left with an average disposable income of just £13,848 per year, when the earning is a mere £417.10 per week. This is below the poverty line in the UK. 
Thus, the advantage of the low house prices has been obliterated. Men in Blackpool have a very low life expectancy of 74 years. That's why insurance premiums are on the high side here. Number 5. West and South of Northern Ireland Going back to Ireland, we find West and South of Northern Ireland as one of the worst places to live in the UK. Only 69% of the people living here are employed, and 23% of these people work for more than 45 hours per week. The income level in this region is low by the UK standard, given at £421.14 per week, with only £13,357 available as disposable income per household. No wonder some analysts allege high levels of crime and a poor economy here. How on earth do you expect people living under that condition to spend a whopping £83,876.36 to buy a home or 8577 weekly on rent? One more bad news, only 55% of this region of Northern Ireland has cell phone coverage. Number 4. Western Isles Terrible places are there also in Scotland. There, Western Isles ranks the fourth worst place to live in the UK. Ironically, employment which is at the rate of 77% is not a problem here. However, 25% of working people spend over 45 hours on their work per week. Yeah, that's not too bad, even with the weekly gross income of £445.50 and yearly disposable incomes of £15,392 per household, which is fairly close to the others in this list of 10 worst places to live in the UK. We are particularly pissed off with the UK's slowest internet of paltry 5.3 megabytes per second and terrible phone reception covering just 29% of the land in the area. It would be easier to live in a hole than to live in this place, also called Ilian Siar, where they also have the fewest hours of yearly sunshine. Number 3. North of North Ireland As you see the beautiful scenery in this region, you may not know that you're in the area with the lowest gross income of £397.70, with just £12,910 as the household disposable income in a year. If you live in this area, you may be among the 41% who are unemployed, and if employed, you have to work for back-breaking 45 hours to earn the peanuts stated earlier. Adding to the woe of those living here is the high cost of living, as they have to spend as much as £1,850 each year. Only 62% of those living here have access to the cell phone signal. Number 2. Kingston upon Hull Kingston-upon-Hull, a city in Yorkshire, England, has no business being here if the city has got it right in the areas of employment and income parity in addition to house prices. When only 65% of the people in the region are employed, how would the remaining 35% survive? Additionally, over 24% of the working folks have to work for 45 hours or more in a week. The income also of £466.30 per week and a household yearly disposable income of £13,046. The income also of £466.30 per week and the household yearly disposable income of £13,046. Relatively low cost of house and rent count for nothing in view of the high unemployment rates. And the cost of living is soared by dual fuel costs and high insurance premiums. Number 1. Bradford All woes bedeviling the 10 worst places to live in the UK mentioned here are present in Bradford. For instance, it has the same unemployment rates as Kingston-upon-Hull, with just 65% of the people working. This affects the economy of the whole region, and the length of the hours of work prevents even the working class from enjoying their life. Let's look into the costs of home and rent. It's higher than what they have in Hull. Buying a home at £120,000 is not a big deal in the UK, but the rent costing £92.66 per week is higher than all the other places in this list of 10 worst places to live in the UK. After analyzing several available data, we come out with this ranking. We looked at several analyses of 26 different variables, including the average hours of sunshine per year, amount of carbon dioxide in the air, the number of those having full-time jobs. We then looked at the ranking of 168 British regions using a proprietary weighting system. The rating is based on the reliable figures from USwitch, the price comparison website that has been in the business for over a decade. If you agree or disagree with the ranking, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.